this is a sort of an abstract model of the, the things that are sort of happening in my life. So instead of thinking of your calendar and, and your contacts and your Facebook pages and tweeting and everything else as a whole bunch of disjoint things, what you'd like to have the computer do is, is help you integrate across this environment. So I'm going to use this thing with just gestures, tipping it to, to, to navigate in this environment. So if I basically tip it to the right, I can go to the blue ones. And the blue ones are things that are sort of my social and, and family related environment. And the idea here is that there's sort of this radar display. And the colors represent sort of activity levels in each of the different types of things that, that I might be doing. So, you know, purple might, uh, yellow, blue might be social, green might be work, yellow might be things of special interest. And so my ability to, to just tip this and navigate from, you know, one place to the next. Uh, you know, I, I, this is what I'm doing today. It's the center of making this presentation to you about natural interaction. You know, I can go down here, and these uh, are things that are uh, entertainment-related activities, which could be watching television or going to the museum. Or, and so here the computer is bringing forward, and, and their position relative to where I am at the moment and their scale is sort of intended to depict what the system thinks is its, uh, you know, relative importance or interest you know, uh, to my world at this point in time. For example, uh, the, the one with the airplane uh, is, uh, is saying, hey, you know, there's some, something special happening. It's got a, a red alert. And so if I look at this and, and click on it, you know, it basically says, all right, there's a lot of things happening in your life, but there's some problems with the weather. And if I actually uh, just tip back and forth, what it's basically doing is it's analyzing different uh, weather probabilities and what the implications would be of changing my flight, you know, in order to, to avoid the particular weather problem. And, but rather than just say, hey, I'm changing your flight, it, it analyzes my calendar, it understands what other things would have to be moved, and the idea is that if I pick one of these things, so for example, uh, you know, I could say, hey, you know, tell me what would happen to my calendar if I did this. So these two uh, elements in the interface here, this one says I want to accept this option. This one says, well, show me what would happen if I accepted that option. So I'll just select the one on the left. And you can see it's essentially rearranging things in this environment. Certain, certain things you know, move closer, would, would happen more quickly. Certain things move back. And I can either accept this scenario or you know, I'll say, well, I'll go back. I want to uh, pick a different scenario. So I can use this and say, no, let's not go at 8 to 9, let's go tomorrow at 5 to 6 because I like that weather a lot better. Uh, so pick that one. So we think that, that this is an example not only of a more natural form of interaction and, a, and sort of a graphically rich way of presenting information, it, it begins to show how as I go in and out of environments where there's bigger displays or multi, multi, you know, multiple parties that want to communicate, that, that the, the phone you know, becomes a, an interesting way to do that. So let me uh, do uh, one other thing here, hmm. which is, uh, let me go back. Craig, it's kind of reminiscent of the Kin Studio in some ways, like a large, uh, large automatically synced representation of your phone. Yep, a little bit. 